Hello everyone. Well, here we have a fairly common vacuum cleaner. I've got one. It's a Uber Turbo Power from the second generation. I'm pleased to say that because this is in the original box that the seller has actually protected the box because the box, although not as important as the vacuum, it's always nice to have the original box and I'm hoping that because this cleaner has the original box, it will also have the original polystyrene packaging, which has protected it during its journey. And this is the, uh, the sort of box I remember seeing in shops. Often though, if you bought turbo powers from mail order catalogues, at the time they were often provided in plain brown boxes with just an outline picture but if you went to one of the fancy department stores my favorite store of all from this era was um, Alders department store in a place called Croydon which is sort of described as outer London I think nowadays because department stores often had the boxes on display behind the product and so they were sent the fancy display boxes. So I'm going to have a nice little peruse at this box before we get the cleaner out. Now it has been used, it's not N in B, but it's only been used once or twice. Right, I'm going to have to be careful here because the tape has been put on over the box and it's if I'm not careful that's going to take some of the design off I'll open the rest of this off camera and show you the box in all its glory well here's the box it's a little bit battered but it's got the original box showing uh, on the side here the air freshener feature Another shot of the machine, possibly highlighting the bag check indicator with the same picture, I think, on this side, yes. And on this side, showing the reusable paper bag. And just another sort of glamour shot to the cleaner. It's model U2332. This was the mid model in the second generation turbo power range which were very very popular cleaners back in the day for Hoover and as I said this is the mid one the lower model which I do have would have been the turbo junior that was the black version with a pinstripe bag so this was the mid range and the top model was the autoflex version in a red color uh, I don't know if I ever had one from you. I remember buying one from eBay quite a few years ago and it arrived smashed to pieces because for some reason the red colouring turbo power, the red coloured one, was absolutely so fragile. So that I would say is probably one of the rarer turbo powers. Here we've got one of the original H4 twin skinned bags. I'm not going to use it with this bag, I'm going to put one of the new fleecy bags in. But this is uh, certainly an improvement when they introduce a twin skinned bag, certainly an improvement on a single layer paper bag that they used to supply. A little bit battered, I'm actually going to open that. This is the air freshener. You can't really buy these. You're very lucky if you can find them on eBay now. But because that packaging is pretty manky now, I'm going to open it and smell it. What flavor is it? <laughs> Orchard Blossom fragrance, I should say. I do have more of these in this packaging and some of the later packaging too. Ah, well, this is really the classic fragrance. Can't wait to open that. This is, I believe, the fragrance they normally supplied as standard with the cleaners that had an air freshener. But um, there were other variants available. 
Orchard Blossom, Spring Bouquet, uh, Summer Meadow, which was yellow, and Tobacco Clear, which was an orange colour. Tobacco Clear is very, very rare as a fragrance. And I have a few, lucky enough to have some. I bought a job lot from eBay quite a long time ago now. We've got a guarantee card. I'm assuming there should be some instructions, but if not, I'm pretty sure I've got them. I've got some instructions. Unless they've put the instructions inside the bag compartment. I'm not bothered if it doesn't have, as I said, I've probably got them. So not environmentally friendly by any means, but we've got the full polystyrene surrounding it. So fingers crossed the wheels have survived. I'm hoping they will have because they're in polystyrene. There's the handle and for the first time the main difference between the second and the first generation they tweaked them very slightly. Different colours, updated the colours but the main new feature was a two-speed motor. So you've got a lower speed and a high speed and the uh, main difference on the Turbo Power Junior as opposed to the first generation they included an air freshener on the soft bag turbo junior this is i believe wedgwood green this color now i have got one of these you might see me unboxing one quite a while ago on my channel but that was used certainly more than this one but it was in still in pretty good condition but this one is definitely after i've just given it a bit of a polish this is definitely in better condition But yes, a little touch of polish on that. Well, it stands upright okay. Ah, right, we have got the instructions. We've also got, it's been removed, a little bit creased. This is a bit of promotional material. I'll show you where that went on the cleaner. In fact, it'll be easier to read it. Because again, if this was taken out of the box and displayed in a retailer, Every single cleaner used to have something like this. I remember it on the Sensortronics. So this would have been displayed in your local Curry's, Co-op or whatever store. Doesn't quite stick anymore, but it would have been stuck. It's lost its ability to stick. If I wash it, it might regain a bit. It's not got an adhesive on it. it just, they just used to sort of stick on. But if they were left on and the color dis and the vacuum cleaner discolored over time if you remember my turbo power it left the printing on the plastic so it's probably good that this isn't on here so it's still probably a bit hard for you to see but i'll read it out for you new turbo power more suction power than any other upright reactivates the fibers of your carpet unique built-in air freshener two-speed motor giant reusable paper bag cleaning tools also available and it says made in britain okay so i've attached the handle to this turbo power giving it a bit of a polish not that it really needed much but yes this is certainly hardly been used very briefly used absolutely fantastic to have one of these very very common back in the day but not so common now if you go on ebay looking for turbo powers you'll still find them you'll find turbo power twos as well but you won't find as many turbo powers as you will juniors and seniors because they were certainly made to last and a lot of people especially older people who know hoover of old would consider the turbo powers as a huge drop in quality over the previous models but Hoover had to update other cleaners were coming along that looked a lot more modern than Hoover cleaners especially the soft bag versions so this cleaner certainly looked better for the 1980s when it was launched I've turned the cleaner over so we can have a look at the underside and more evidence of this cleaner being virtually new especially you can see on the wheels there's not a mark on them and on the back wheels as well 
absolutely perfect. This has hardly seen any any carpet whatsoever. And I've never seen actually a cream colour activator with these sort of grey taupey coloured brushes. All the turbo powers I had when I bought them from brand new I think had black activators. Now does that move? Well, that's very stiff. I think the belt should be fine then. I'm having trouble moving that by hand. I think it should work fine. And the activator was another departure for Hoover because this was the first time that Hoover, as far as I know, introduced a full plastic bodied activator or agitator that you couldn't replace the brushes on with the previous models, with the beats as it sweeps as it cleans action. You could replace the brush strips, but with this, once these very stiff brushes wear down, you had to replace the activator body or the complete activator assembly. And instead of the traditional steel beta bars, we have what who would describe as beta pads, these sort of various size nodules in the body of the machine. But it's these stiff brushes that really did help reactivate the fibers of your carpet as the old TV commercial went. So for carpet cleaning, for the time, these machines were pretty good. I mean, there wasn't much that could beat them for actually cleaning carpets. Not so good for cleaning with the cleaning tools that fitted over the front front of the uh, activator here. Not very good for tools, but for actual carpet cleaning, you couldn't really beat the Turbo Power and of course the later Turbo Master. Okay, let's have a look at the rating sticker. So it's Hoover model U2332, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 410 watts. So that's a 400 watt motor and 10 watts is for the headlight bulb. The serial number is U2332601266684. Uh, could, mm, I don't know if that means it's 80, 1984. <laughs> I always forget. Anyway, it is from the mid 80s, I would say, anyway. Made by Hoover PLC, Great Britain. And this would have been made in Cambuslang, Scotland. Here's the cleaner head. It's got the furniture guard that obviously runs all the way around the base. And we've got the four position height right control. So you need to tilt the machine forward or back to operate it. So you've got the low setting for very low pile carpet or carpet tiles. And then this was considered sort of the short to normal pile setting. And I think that was also used for hard floors, although it's not very good on hard floors. From what I remember, it scatters the dirt. Then you got medium pile carpet in the middle there. And finally, you've got the setting for long pile carpet. At the bottom of the bag door, it says turbo power in this absolutely glorious font. I really like the design of that. And above it, these were still by appointment to Queen Elizabeth, by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover PLC, Greenford, Middlesex. About two thirds of the way up the bag door, we have the adjustable air freshener control with two rose symbols. The larger rose depicts more fragrance. And as you move it to the smaller rose, it's supposed to emit less fragrance Basically, it emitted the same fragrance, whatever setting. And because I was a little bit OCD, I always liked it in the middle. I just liked things symmetrical. So when I was using these back in the day, I just kept it in the central position. And at the top of the bag door, we've got the bag door release pad here with Hoover in a bold font and that lovely turbo power font repeated underneath. And to access the dust bag, you simply press down on the bag door and the dust bag door opens. While I've got the bag door open, we can see here where the air freshener is fitted. And I've got 
the orchard blossom air freshener here and I'm about to cut open this sealed packet and inhale the smell for me, the smell of the 1980s. It's not just owning things that I used to have when I was much younger that take me back in time. It's very nice to own them, but the smells, you can often be reminded of past times from smells and nothing screams 1980s to me than the smell of the Orchard Blossom air freshener. I think it will still smell. It's been sealed up for a long time. You can see there it's got the Hoover branding on. I'm just going to put it to my nose. Oh, <laughs> I know some people are thinking you are an absolute mental case. Well, yes, I don't care. Oh, crikey, that takes me back. And because it was the most common fragrance, say the one that was supplied as standard with all the air freshener uh, featured cleaners, it's the one I remember most, but I do like the other fragrances as well. So I'm just going to remove this cover. Whoops. And you can, you can see there, that's the control of the air freshener. And there's a little spigot where we place the Hoover air freshener in and then we just pop back the cover until it clicks let's push it there we are so that's in place I'm going to pop in one of these H18 for your home bags they are quite large but they do fit this part fits I think they're mainly designed for the turbo power twos but I find they fit uh, quite a lot of the older Hoover cleaners and far better than the supplied paper bag I've just realized I think that the bag slide is missing but I'm not going to be too concerned I'm sure I have an original bag slide somewhere but I will never use this with the original paper bags so basically this is the bag support tube we just push the bag on this one's got a bit of a silicon type seal so we'll push it on and it fits nice and securely it's a very good tight fit but it's quite a large bag so you do have to make sure it's tucked in all the way around it should still inflate quite nicely when it's uh, inside when the cleaners on so once all that's tucked in we can close the bag door just at the top of the bag door we've got the bag check indicator and I think that was a new addition for the second generation the first generation turbo powers didn't have a bag check indicator. And at the other side here, we've got a blanking piece that would have incorporated the automatic cord rewind button on the Autoflex version. Moving to the back of the cleaner again, at the bottom here, we've got the pedal that lowers the handle to the operating position and for cleaning under low furniture. And here is the lower cord hook, which I'm pleased to say hasn't broken, which is a common fault with this type of machine. You can still buy this lower cord hook, but not in the Wedgwood green color. You can get it in the generic black. And here is the upper cord hook, which rotates down so you can release the cable in one go. OK, it's time to turn on this Hoover Turbo Power. I'm going to initially start it off on setting one and then go on to setting two. And you'll notice if the headlight is working, the headlight will be slightly dimmer, I think, on setting one than it is on setting two or vice versa. I can't remember, but I know the headlight is certainly affected by the speed of the motor for some reason. I've also got the height control on about setting two, which is for short to medium pile carpet. OK, well, if this Super Turbo Power works, I'm going to be very happy with my purchase.
Well, I've no complaints about this Hoover Turbo Power Cleaner. It cost a fair bit of money to buy, obviously. It's, it did attract quite a lot of bidders, but I was lucky enough to have the highest bid and I've won it and I'm very happy with it. Um, obviously it has had slight use, but I expected that, but basically it does look and feel and work as it would have done fresh from the box. So very pleased with it. It sounds like a traditional turbo power. You can hear the airflow through the machine. And even on this very short pile carpet, it was bringing the pile up. Now you're gonna see this again because in a few weeks, I'm actually finally getting a brand new living room carpet fitted, which has a much denser pile than this carpet here. And you will actually see track lines and the turbo power will be an ideal machine to use because you'll really see the grooming action of the Hoover activator. So um, I'll get this out again in a few weeks and we'll try it on my brand new living room carpet. So. Uh, that would be something to look forward to and it'd be interesting to see what vacuums work particularly well on this new carpet because as I said it's a much plusher, denser pile than the carpet that was fitted when we first moved in. If you have any comments or questions about this what I would consider to be a classic 80s Hoover upright please comment below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.